Hey everybody, welcome back to Cyberpunk. We have jobs nearby. We're going to do them right away. Uh, but one thing I wouldn't mind just jumping into real quick, I was looking into some of our crafting and I know we have uh, the technical skills that govern a crafting tree. However, uh, this is something we haven't really dabbled in yet. And I know early reviews that I saw were like, ah, crafting's not that useful, but I kind of want to try it anyways and just experiment with it. Uh, maybe we end up crafting to sell stuff. Maybe we end up having weapons we don't know about or what have you. So uh, I did happen to find this Nekomata in our crafting selection. You can see we have up to we can do the black unicorn, all the uh, stuff we got for the uh, GOG linking. Dying Knight is the pistol that we got early on and uh, looks like you could recreate this. So there's ways to kind of um, get these items back, which is cool. But also, check this out. So we just got a tech weapon in the last episode that can shoot through walls, but we don't have the right stats for it. However, I've got a sniper rifle, which I've wanted, tech weapon, which I've wanted. And uh, when we craft, you get a random stat. So crit chance, burn chance, charge multiplier, etc. Uh, and you get a random damage type. So chemical, electrical, physical, thermal has an empty scope slot. Costs a little bit of money, but or a little bit of eddies, but I don't think that's too bad. And uh, we're going to whip one out here and see what happens. So let's check what we got. Also improves our crafting skills, which I imagine have some type of other sweet benefits. Uh, we could do gun upgrades too. So if we take a look at, let's say, this rifle that we were using... Uh, you can see for 15 uncommon and 20 common components, a little bit of cash, we can up our DPS here, which is also kind of nice. Uh, let's actually do that. There we go. And we're really close to actually leveling that. I don't know if there's other things we might want to do. Uh, we have stuff that's better than that. Wolf school jacket. This is kind of cool. Eh, let's just leave it for now. Okay, so if we look at the sniper rifle that we just picked up, let's sort this by something like DPS. Okay, we already are. All right, here. So we got uh, physical damage, which is fine. That's probably the most useful one overall. Uh, and we have a two and a half second charge time, 0.5 shot delay, and a three headshot damage multiplier. If we get a scope on this. Oh, look at that. If I just fire off a blast, are people going to be pissed? Ooh. Okay. So you don't, like, trigger the shot at the end of the charge. It just happens. All right. So let's see what this job is. We have who out here? Security guard? For who? No affiliation. Just hired muscle. Hustle. They're hustle. What are we looking for here? This is... Yeah, we're like right here. But we're not getting a call. I'll, I'll see if we can find a way in. Oh, hello. Got a Soviet fixer in town. Welcome, Welcome to America, to comrade. Hospitality. Get to know our unexpected guest. Go to the port in Kabuki. Pop a GPS on our comrade's ride. Oh, cool. Car came with him all the way from the USSR. More info attached. So not not just like a okay. This is this is interesting. So I think the last one was called a hired gun. This is a I don't know what it's called now that we've seen it. Here's a search and recover. We need to look for something. We have uh, rescues and then well, what else do we have? Maybe that's what this one was. Agent saboteur sabotage a target. That's so sick. Uh, I want to see the message. Comrade Fixer. Place GPS on Mikhail Akulov's car. When a top Soviet fixer, Mikhail Akulov, landed in Night City, it generated a lot of buzz in the biz. So far, says he's just in town to cut a small-time deal. USSR's premier fixer in town to personally handle minor league gigs at any stakes? Yeah, can't say I'm convinced either. So what's his game? Why Night City? My client needs answers to these questions and more. They want to follow his every step on Night City soil. And that's why you need to plant a GPS transmitter in our dear comrade's car and keep it clean and quiet. It's so cool we get these like additional messages. I'm just like overwhelmed with how awesome this is. 
Remain undetected. Optional. Okay. There's got to be a way in then. Because we're not just walking by these guys, right? Uh, hold on a second. Oh, look at... Hold on. Maybe these pipes? No, the pipes... I don't think I could jump that high. I wonder if you could get from the top of this bridge. I'm just curious. This is where, again, something like that double jump would come in really handy. It's just, it's very expensive. Oh, no, we're not... We're not even close. A robot? Uh, yeah, we'll take that. A sniper? <laughs> All right. We're going in. We're going in. It's going to be great until it backfires completely. Okay, so let's check over this way then. Oh, beautiful. Actually, we could probably just grab this. And just like that, we are in. Okay, let's do a breach protocol here and see what we got. We're going to go for camera shutdowns and uh, ice picks. Actually, both of these are the same, which is kind of cool. So E9, 1C, 1C should do it all. Okay. Let's do a ping. This is just a resident who's... I don't know what's wrong with the resident. Worker. Worker. Bunch of workers. Robots. Okay, if we're seeing robots, well, it's go time. Let's change up our cyber deck. Let's get rid of the cripple movement. And we'll grab the short circuit. Instead. Applies an EMP effect to the target for four seconds. Okay. That way, just if things get hairy. I'm, I'm tagging, but I don't know if it's why it's not showing. Oof. Short circuit, no. It's another sniper. I'm just going to stick to the outskirts. Wait, what is this? A forklift. Let's breach protocol here. Mm, actually, hold on. Do we even need to? Whoa. Okay. Uh, the breach protocol has a cooldown. Let's wait the eight seconds. I'm not loving this. Not loving this robot. At all. Ping is blocked. We could distract him with this. Can we hack these? Oh, nice. So, see that little arrow? That must be calling this guy over. Oh my god. He sounds intense. <laughs> he sounds pretty intense. Could jack in here. I don't want to get caught, though. Detecting abnormalities. Yeah, what are you detecting, pal? Oh, hello. Got one coming up here. Security officer. Veteran guards. Uh, we have a 
container door. Oh, no, there it is. There's the car. Oh, that's neat. And we have who in front of it? Security officer. Man. Let's do the reductions if we can. So we need to go... Where do I have two BDs? I go 1C, BD. Hmm. One C there, no. Maybe I go here, one C, B D B D. It's good experience. Okay, so we got an update to plant okay, okay, okay. Now this guy. Am I gonna be cool here? Like Oh dude. Over here. Be chill. You'll be up later. Maybe. Who would this distract? I don't see who that's distracting. Oh, you know what? Let's put him right in here. See ya. Whoa. Is that guy spotting me? I can't really tell. Whoa! What do they do? Sniper up top's a problem. These guys are problems. There's a camera here somewhere. Oh, wow. Yeah, now we're talking. Okay, let's do uh, control here. Oh, uh, look how many cameras we have access to. Where do these all lead? Oh, God. So I was getting spotted somewhere. Oh, Jesus. The guy moved. Whoa, that was so sketch. <laughs> okay. Oh, you know what? Maybe now the TV. Hold on. I don't know if I can walk past here without him seeing me. That's the problem. Look at this guy. He's jacked. And I think he might be like a big enemy that I can't... Maybe I can't take him down? Man, it's so intense that they like that it does that. Thousands of migrants have caught junk fever and set their sights on the city in the search of electronics manufactured around the turn of the century. Now, he will come back here. He did come here at one point. These pioneers truly demonstrate the beauty of the American entrepreneurial spirit. Today's closing story. Sing Ad Studios has announced a new way Come on, man. as a society can care for our elderly. Rather the only question is, does he go that same way or does he start coming back this way? Do we have anything? What is this? Another surveillance camera? Oh, I see it way at the end there. Bro, go over here. Oh, he's getting antsy. There we go. Oh, of course. Oh, my God. 
Whoa, dude. <laughs> wow. Okay, this is our chance. Oh my god. Leave the docks. We're still undetected, guys. For now. I see it. Shut that down. I don't know if we can take down robots from behind. This might be my chance, but if this guy turns... <laughs> Problem is, now we're coming up on the, on the front gate, aren't we? Oh, let's just go high ground. Jesus. Turn this off. Wait for the sniper. Oh, we definitely should have gone a different way. If I lift this, wonder what their reaction would be. Nothing. They're like, oh, this shit malfunctions all the time. I wonder if I could jump this. If I just instantly die here, I'm going to be sad. Oh, shit. We did it. <laughs> That's so cool. Guys, we totally, we nailed the self one. Silent nailed and effective, it. just like in the movies. Except we don't make that sort of scratch, but can't have everything, right? Gig closed. Wow. Gig closed, baby. 1,200 big ones. Collect your bonus from the drop point. Oh, it's like right here. Quiet and smooth. Uh, oh, quiet and smooth. That's how it's done. Thanks, B. Here's a little token of my appreciation waiting for you at the drop point. Check it out when you get a chance. This is incredible. Uh, I guess upper level. So because we did it stealthy, we're getting this? The NCPD has expanded its arsenal to include Militech's Centaur class. What is, what, you're putting me right by the NCPD. No, it's above here, looks like. Howdy. The no-tell motel. <laughs> Oh yeah, BD Shack, Gunomat. Love it. Please tell me this is not what you left me, this stupid hat. No, okay, good. This is uh pretty well hidden. Oh, at a oh okay. I wonder if it's any drop point that we can go to. Or if this just takes us to the closest one. Nice. Devillery? <laughs> Subtle. So what did we even get there? I didn't notice if something came up. Let's sell our junk. And, uh... And sell off some of these other things that we're not using. The DPS is going to look a little bit weird because... Just comparing to what we have currently equipped. I'm gonna ditch all these Unity pistols. Keep this Lexington. 
Uh, we also want to get to a point where we are carrying ooh, different damage types. Get rid of that. I think that's fine. We're up to almost 30k. And what time is it? Because ultimately we do want to go to the bar. It's 12.06. Okay, get in there. New shard. As a direct result of the armed conflicts on U.S. soil from the early 1990s until the early 2000s, Latin America, comprising South and Central America, remodeled itself into a strong federation of independent nations bound through mutual aid and cooperation. The U.S.'s military presence was forced from Latin American territories, with the exception of Panama, where it stood its ground despite fierce pressure from guerrilla forces. Uh, many researchers and contemporary historians maintain that, in fact, the Lat Am War. So, Lat. What is? Did it say what it is? Uh, I guess it's just Latin America. Lat Am. Yeah. Um, we're responsible for the U.S.'s eventual collapse, breaking up the gang of four: CIA, CIA, FBI, DEA, and NSA, which is like all of the major government organizations in the states and decimating the u.s army however it's important to bear in mind that no external conflict could have toppled the colossus of american imperialism were it not already built on clay foundations tell me about it tell me about it protein farms hit me protein farms are currently the source of most meat and meat substitute products in Night City. You might have heard a uh, little Walty bark there, not sure. Biotechnica is the clear industry leader providing for over half the city's demand for alternative protein. Currently, the most popular, albeit cost-intensive form of production is based on protein-rich crickets, which allow producers to achieve the highest quality protein. That's still, that's like happening today. They're starting to make a lot of things out of crickets. Earthworms are available as a cheaper alternative flatworms we heard about before achieving a higher yield of product per square meter however worms pose a more difficult marketing challenge i said that exact same thing while crickets have become acceptable most consumers still bristle at being told to go eat worms when we read about the flatworms i literally called it saying uh the only problem they're gonna have is marketing because you can't really tell people you're eating worms i'm gonna like that and here we go that's insane i love this okay sorry uh, we did, we did get a perk point. So let's go ahead and throw this into something. Um, level five here. We could grab this hidden dragon. We could go into, hmm. So this one is, is nice. Unlocks the big sleep demon so we can disable cameras. The mass vulnerability is is good during breach protocol. T shutting down turrets is obviously quite good. Uh, but I think quick hacking maybe is where we should spend a little bit more time. Unlocks crafting specs for uncommon quick hacks. That could be actually not bad. And maybe combine that with other crafting things. We get super cool... Um, super cool crafting stuff. Available Cyberdeck RAM cannot drop below two units. That's sick. Reduces cost of quick hacks by just a little bit. There's the epic for crafting. Hmm. Carrying capacity we don't really need yet. Maybe just a little passive health regen could be good. We still haven't really settled on a weapon type. Still early, still figuring that out. Twenty-five percent chance of looting a weapon mod or attachment. Immunity to all effects from your own grenades. Uh, okay, cool. Let's actually take this, just as a safety precaution. It's not like the sexiest perk, but that's okay. So we're twelve oh nine p.m. Is there anything nearby that we could do? There's a crime over here. Why don't we go hit that crime up? Obviously, the the police seem quite busy doing. Uh, no. Come on. Ooh. Oh, he doesn't want me there. Damn. Ooh. Now get lost, bro. Yeah, yeah. Sorry. I, I was just looking, guys. I was just looking. Hey, 
Hey, you mind if I take this? No? Cool, thanks. Neutralize criminals to receive your reward. Then search the area to find some illegally stashed loot and complete the NCPD scanner hustle. Is this all that it is? Just this one guy? Oh, no. <laughs> they traverse the badlands in trucks yes but when the full moon rises they remove their human masks what hides underneath you ask reptilians i answer you no not reptilians but werewolves the seed has been sown the truth shall sprout roots and lift us from the invaders clutches thank god it's not the reptiles there are people that believe there's like ancient reptiles on earth pretty wild is this guy... Oh, this is what it is. Oh, weird. Oh, no, this is different. Joe, it's important. The end is near. I know I can hear their voices, Joe. The bug is in the heart of the beast. My time is nigh, but someone must take up my burden. Go to these coordinates. You'll find the tech I stole from them. The ones spying on us. Wake the people. It's time to build the barricades. The corporals are out for blood. Give me some coordinates, man. Oh, yeah. Sick. We can actually do that. Oh, my. I, I'm sorry. I hate to just be, like, gushing. It's just I love how these quests are designed. It's like you think, oh, could we do this? And it's like, yup. That is amazing. Doc Paradox quotes. I don't know Doc Paradox. Here we are constructing artificial cities in orbit, downloading our minds in integrated circuits, coding all powerful AIs, and we can't make one goddamn flu vaccine. You want to know why? Corps want to destroy nature because it doesn't give them IPs or copyright ownership. So we eat test tube chicken, plants that grow in labs. Hell, even photosynthesis has been trademarked. Enough is enough. It's time we say stop before the sixth extinction wipes us all out. Okay, so these guys and Doc Paradox are some type of weird, I don't know, like culty type thing. They have, they're all conspiracy theorists is the best way to put it. Um... You think they'll stop at food? What about our bodies? There's no chunk of them that can, can't be cut out, improved, and modified so that every breath we take, every heartbeat generates profit. And what about your children? From the corpse perspective, it's untapped potential, a goddamn wasted commodity. Soon our techno-fascist overlords will convince you that having children isn't your natural right, but a privilege you pay for out of pocket. The water you're drinking, the food you're eating, they're putting in chemicals that will reduce your fertility so that they'll be incubating babies in water tanks with serial numbers on their foreheads, hooked up to cables instead of umbilical cords. Open your eyes, snap out of it before it's too late. And you know what? A lot of that stuff's actually true. Okay, where is this stash? Oh my God, it's on the other end of the city. Hopefully I remember, and we can just go and grab this later. Um, we do have one more thing down here. It's 1225. So let's head in that direction. We did level, actually. So what do we want to do? I think technical ability, honestly, for uh, some doors that we've run into. I'm going to go ahead and grab that. Uh, it also gives us a little armor boost, which is nice because we don't have the body or the, the reflexes necessarily. Um, does that unlock anything else in here? Disassembling items grants a 5% chance to gain a free component. All grenade types deal 20 damage in addition to their normal effects. Make grenades a little bit stronger. I wouldn't mind... Oh, and yeah, and this is all tech weapon stuff. Yeah, smart weapons and tech weapons. So this is where we're going to go. Um, grenades included, I think. Can we craft grenades? Oh, yes, we can. Oh, my God. I wonder if it'd be nice if we could just do uh, like a mass crafting thing. Eight. This is using up a lot, but I'm just look looking to get our crafting up to the next level here. Boom. Okay. So now we get another perk point. 
And we could do something like... Explosion radiuses are visible. We currently have that implant. So I don't know if that's necessarily worth it. Um, why don't we do this? Gain more components. Junk items are automatically disabled. That means we wouldn't sell them anymore. Um, which I guess is okay. We, we do make a decent amount of money from junk. But over time, that'll probably become less and less. So why don't we... Let's do this. Our junk now becomes scrap. And then we'll sell gear and things that we're not using. All right. So let's head down here. Uh, it seems to be close by. Tell you what, let's take another break. And when we come back, we'll uh, we'll hit this. I'm going to try to keep the episodes like around this length. Unless there's like a major mission or something that happens. Part of it's because I can put out a lot more episodes way, way more frequently because the time it takes to record it, render it, upload it is much shorter. And if there's an issue like where we have these episodes not processing into 4K, it gives me an opportunity to like re-upload them if I need to re-render them. It just cuts down all that time, but it's still going to be the same amount of content for you guys. So hopefully that's cool. And if it goes a little longer, then it goes a little longer. That's also cool. Thank you guys. We'll see you in the next one, okay? Bye for now.